So, check out what Mark found. So, get out of here! We found you were kidding me! The Costa Rican rainforest is considered to be one of the most biologically diverse ecosystems on the planet. Home to literally thousands of species, the crew and I have been fortunate enough to encounter some of its most iconic animals, from the striking red-eye leaf frog to the adorable ocelot. Now she has found the microphone. Oh. No, no. When exploring in Central America, one of our favorite places to visit is the Costa Rican Amphibian Research Reserve which is famous for having some incredibly rare and almost never seen creatures. Mark, Mark, come here! What is it? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! What do you got? You are not gonna believe this. Oh my gosh. And while I have been present for nearly all of these initial finds, every once in a while, Mark and Mario stumble upon an animal without me. And on this rainy evening, they just so happen to encounter what may be considered the rarest animal we have ever found in the rainforest. Mario! Matt, yeah. Come look what I found. What? What'd you get? I've got a giant ornithopra, the what? rare one. Oh, man. Right here on this rock. This is the one that's on the wall in the cabin. Yeah, that totally is. We, what do we do? Um, Coyote's not even here. What do we do? We just film it? Uh, well, certainly we have to film it. I've got a container in my backpack. Um, we could contain it. Take it back to the lodge, have Coyote check it out, and uh, we get some great B-roll shots. All right, we have to, right? Yeah. We have to. We'll, oh, we'll, yeah. we'll bring it back. Yeah, we'll bring it right back after, and uh, that'll be awesome. Dude. Great find, dude. Wow. Okay, so. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Let's be gentle. Careful, careful. Be careful. You know, those things can spray stuff. Ooh. It was very velvety. Hold on, I got to touch it. Let me see. Oh, it's so cool. All right, yeah? let's go. I'm so excited. All right, let's I, think do I, it. I can hardly stand still. Let's go. Secured. Yes. Woo. Peyote. Peyote. You guys find anything cool to photograph? Mm, yeah, maybe. Maybe. So, check out what Mark found. So, get out of here. We found. You were kidding me. We found it on the rock, like four paces where we found the brown one. Yeah. Get. Out of here, I cannot believe that. Go inside and get the, get the picture, show everybody. So, oh yeah. my gosh! I cannot believe you guys found the Holy Grail! Oh my goodness, guys, they found an Good, ex good, good, you know, that, that's what we were looking for, that reaction. Get out of town! We, we've been, we've been just like jumping for joy the whole way home. Look at it, yep, there it is. So we brought it back. Uh, what we want to do is we want to build a little film set. Ooh, that's a great idea. Oh, you know what we should do? Like a planet Earth type shoot where we set yes. it up on a little table. I've got the little table up here. We'll get some moss, get some logs, set it up and do a presentation. Absolutely. This will kind of be like the mole cricket episode only with a much rarer animal. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you found it. Holy cow, bro. This is insane. So wait, who found it? You found it? Yeah, I, I mean, we do yeah. just filmed the people. <sighs> yeah. Woo, this is crazy. Not a bad gig, Coyote, when you can do your job and wear sandals. I do. I got my sandals on. I don't even have my snake boots. I mean, I was working on the orca script and uh, just kind of lounging. I saw the rain start to come down. I was like, man, these guys better hurry back before those cameras get soaked. Let me see if I can get it to just stay totally calm on my hand. Whoa, you are looking at the velvet worm quite possibly the rarest creature you can come across in the Costa Rican rainforest. This creature's ancestors date back 500 million years to the Cambrian period. That is before the time of the dinosaurs. Now this was one of the first terrestrial creatures to ever walk this planet. And even to this day, they are strictly terrestrial, which means that they stay on land. Now let's talk about where this animal gets its name from the velvet worm. Believe it or not, this creature feels just like velvet. Now, it does not have any hard outer exoskeleton like an arthropod, but in fact has a very soft, squishy body. Almost feels like a gummy worm. But if you pet it very gently, go ahead, Mark, put your hand out there, tell everybody at home, feels just like velvet. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, so like, like soft. a crushed velvet suit. So soft. That is so cool. Here's something really cool. They are actually capable of shedding the outer layer of skin around once a month, just like a snake. And when they do shed that, they basically walk out of the skin, similar to the way a snake slithers out of its skin, and then they're even softer and more brilliantly bright. Oh, it's so cool. Let's take a look at the anatomy of this animal. Now, it looks like a mix between a caterpillar, a worm, and a slug but onychophrin is actually its own phylum, right? And there are close to 200 of them worldwide. However, scientists don't even know how many truly exist because they are very rarely seen. This is a nocturnal creature, and the fact that, Mark, you and Mario just stumbled upon it tonight is why they're so hard to find, because oftentimes they're out on rainy nights when most people aren't out venturing around. Now, despite the fact that this creature is actually kind of cute, Believe it or not, it is a voracious predator. And the way that they hunt is they slowly move through the rainforest floor, forging amongst leaves and dead logs, and they'll use those two front sensory organs to kind of tap on their prey. And as soon as they sense something to eat, this is crazy. They have two glands on the side of their face that shoot out a sticky slime. It's like Spider-Man's webbing, right? And it is so incredibly strong that it can immediately pin the prey down. It actually shoots out in two streams and those streams will cross creating a net. So let's say it's a small beetle. It will go shoot out those two streams, tangle up the beetle, and then slowly walk up on top of it. And they have a little mouth up front. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, but inside that mouth is a single tooth that is like a razor blade. They insert that tooth into their victim, and then they leak in saliva. That saliva is similar to the saliva of a giant water bug, and it slowly breaks down the insides of their prey, and they drink it up just like a milkshake. Are you afraid of being bit right now? No, its tooth is much too small to potentially bite me, and they're not aggressive in any way whatsoever. It's not like a centipede or a water bug. This is something that is completely safe to handle. However, it's incredibly fragile. So as you can see, I'm trying to be just as careful as possible. I also don't want it to shoot me with that sticky slime because it's just like glue. Now, is it toxic, the slime? Does it, does it like poison you, or what does as, it do? As far as I know, everything I've read, no. The slime is completely harmless, so if it does get slime on me, I'm gonna be absolutely fine. Now, each one of those little stub feet has two little hooked claws. They almost look like cat's claws, and they use those to hold on to rigid surfaces when they're moving over, like, let's say, a log or a dry branch. However, if they're walking on something moist and soft, like moss, those claws retract in, and they have these little tiny soft pads on the ends of their feet. I can actually feel it gripping onto my hand, and it doesn't hurt at all, but it feels really interesting because those legs on each side move in unison with one another. And just like a worm, and remember, this is not related to worm, but like a worm, it has a very soft body, and it's the expanding and contraction of the muscles inside of its body that allow it to get longer if it needs to. So like, let's say it's moving through some crevices in a log, it can stretch its body out and get itself completely out of a sticky situation. Oh, hi there, buddy. I see you. And look at the strength of its body. It can completely extend itself out just like we've seen millipedes do in the past, searching for the next move to make. And there it goes, right up on my fingers. Wow. Lucky night in the rainforest. Man, that thing is so cool. All right, well, you built a pretty awesome little set here, Coyote. Yeah, I think this is a good opportunity for us to get this velvet worm down on the miniature set and start filming some epic B-roll. You guys ready? Let's do it. All right, let's get the voiceover going and turn this into a Planet Earth episode. The red velvet worm is a creature that is almost never seen in the wild with human eyes. Their elusive nature and nocturnal lifestyle, combined with their tendency to exist in only remote areas of the rainforest, make encountering them nearly impossible. To our knowledge, we are one of the only teams to have ever captured video footage of this animal. So having this opportunity was truly a once in a lifetime. This lucky moment will now be held near the top of our greatest memories we as animal enthusiasts will forever carry with us. And we are incredibly proud that we have now been able to share this encounter with each and every one of you. Wow, 
What an absolutely incredible night, getting the holy grail of bizarre rainforest creatures, the red velvet worm, up close for the cameras. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, guys, here we are. Back at the rock where we found this amazing rainforest creature, the Ornicophora. By far the coolest animal I've ever found. The coyote was pretty impressed. And jealous. Yeah, maybe a little jealous. But man, we had a great night. All right, buddy. Right back where we found you, just like we promised. Hey, Coyote Pack. I've got some great news. We are doing two live shows in Australia, one in Melbourne and one in Sydney. The tickets are on sale now. And for everyone in the United States, get excited because a West Coast tour is coming in early 2018. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next big adventure. I'm Kyrie Peterson. Be brave. Yeah.